Hello everyone and welcome to another speed building video on my channel. Today we'll continue to build on Versailles and start furnishing. So I decided to start furnishing with the King's Apartment first. Um, here we are at his bedchamber, one of his bedchambers actually. Uh, this is the, the state bedchamber which is located in the center of the building facing the east because as many of you know um, King Louis XIV he described himself as the Sun King, so he actually rose with the sun in the morning in the east. So this bedroom is facing the east side and is located in the center of the building. This was his um, one of his later bedchambers, his last bedchamber actually, where he also passed away in, in 1715. So he moved his bedchamber to this side of the apartment, which is the heart of the old chateau of his father. So here I'm trying to um, to replicate it as, as good as possible. Um, it is quite impossible because <laughs> I don't, even with all this beautiful CC, I don't really have the right amount of furnishings to, um, to furnish it with. And I also think it's a bit smaller than the original bed chamber is. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it feels a bit smaller at least. Here I'm just deciding what furniture to use. And... Um, to fill it up a little bit actually that was probably the hardest part about this this build is that you end up repeating yourself over and over again which you will see uh, later on when I'm building uh, or finishing other things that you, you, you after a while you have a gazillion uh, seating areas and bedrooms and they all tend to start look the same And here I'm already complaining about it when it's only just my first room I'm furnishing. Oh well. I think the first one is almost finished. Yep, and now we'll go to the, um, the study. Some things will change. You that you will be able to see that on um, on the screenshots later on. I will change certain rooms so they fit slightly better. And this is one of them that I will definitely change later on. For example, this room does not have any columns, and I think I will get rid of them later on. Behind these rooms is uh, actually the hall, the hall of Mirrors, so it's already ready to be furnished. It's just completely empty at the moment. Here I was trying to look for a better wallpaper, but I couldn't find one. And if you hide it with columns, it actually works out fine. But on that side, because of the door, I couldn't use a column to to hide the um, uh, the fact that it doesn't really match.
just trying to fill up the room. And then this is actually the um, an antechamber, which is called La Salle de l'Oeil de Boeuf, or the... Hmm, how would I translate it? The beef eye room, I guess. <laughs> if I translate it literally. This one was already one of many where I didn't know what to do with it. It does contain some paintings in uh, at the real Versailles. I'll end up struggling a lot with uh, a lot of these windows as well. Um, because my lot size is too small. Um, I have usually have windows on both sides of, uh, of, of, of these rooms, which isn't the case at the real Versailles. In Versailles, you only have windows on one side of, uh, of the room. So, so you wouldn't have that issue that I have, where I'm struggling with so many windows and they don't line up. Because the windows itself are not a problem, but because of the fact that they don't line up, that's actually the, <laughs> the problem. So now we will move on to the inner apartments. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. These are still the state apartments. This is where you actually um, enter. And this is the first room of um, of the, the grand apartments. So ambas ambassadors of uh, different countries would actually enter via these rooms as well. And they would have to walk all the way through all these sumptuous rooms um, to have uh, an audience with the king, for example. And then the king would be waiting on a silver throne in um, the Hall of Mirrors, at, all the way at the end of the Hall of Mirrors. And they would, then they would go through all these state rooms one by one and making their way up to the king. So, and this first room is actually called um, the Abundance Room. And it served as a sort of a hallway to um, Le Cabinet de Curiosité from Louis XIV, the Curiosity Cabinets. And this one is based on, um, I believe, the Venus room. I will change it up later on because I wasn't really happy with the pattern. Because the pattern I'm using is actually from um, the Queen's Guards room and not from the Venus room. It's just loosely based because it, looks diff it definitely looks different and I didn't have that many rooms to furnish. In this, uh, in the Sims 4 of Versailles, um, so I just had to pick my favorite ones, I guess. But it will, it will look different um, in the screenshots. Also, in the Abundance Room, I will change the paintings later on, so it corresponds with uh, real Versailles. And this is one of the other state bed chambers. The bed I'm using right now is uh, its very famous for not being slept in. It was also a, a state uh, bed chamber used for ceremonies only, for waking up and going to bed. And then the king would 
uh, would actually go to his private apartments or his mistress's uh, apartment and sleep there instead of uh, sleeping in this room. And then in the morning he would wake up early and go back to this bedchamber so they could wake him up. But this room is actually bigger than the real one at Versailles. So this state bedroom, this bed also functioned as some sort of a throne room. So in this room, which will also function as a throne room, uh, the the orientation the orientation is wrong. Um, the tapestry actually hangs on uh, the side with the windows, but because it had windows in my build. It was impossible to do so, so I changed the orientation, but I still wanted to include um, this room anyway, so... I think soon we'll be moving on to the inner apartments, which is what we're doing right now. So first I will start off with uh, with another bedroom, which is the, the private bedroom of Louis XV. Uh, he moved his, his private apartment to this side of the chateau because this is uh, facing south. So especially in winter time, uh, it would be warmer, uh, this bedroom. Because although the, the, state, of, uh, the, the state bedroom of Louis XIV has two... Uh, Two fireplaces even then it was still very difficult to heat it up in winter a very simple room and then this is actually the clock room but my clock isn't as uh, impressive as uh, the original clock in uh, at Versailles And then to the right we have uh, the famous Louis XV desk. So we're almost uh, by the uh, um, we're almost at the end of this video. Um, should jump into the screenshots real quickly now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel for more content in the future. I wish you, I wish you guys. A lovely day. Goodbye.